There are many reasons you may want to be able to automatically control devices on your network. Maybe you want to be able to disable your kids' devices at a certain time so that they can't be up all night playing those pesky computer games. Or maybe you have indoor cameras that you only want to be powered on when you are away from home. Whatever the reason is, if you have a Unify network, then it is super easy to automate this however you want with Home Assistant and the Unify integration. Now, for this to work, you're going to want to make sure you have a Unify controller already running that you can log into. And there is a couple of different ways you can control devices on your network. The first way is devices connected to your Unify access points. You can actually block or unblock clients, meaning they physically cannot access the internet or communicate with anything else. And you can also get stats from the devices about how much bandwidth they are using and things like that. And the second way is if you have a Unify switch, then you can physically control the ports on that switch to turn them on or off. Great for if you have internet curfews or something like that. And you can actually even control the power over ethernet for those switch ports, meaning that you can physically cut power to the device if you wanted to, giving you that extra peace of mind. First thing we're going to want to do is head over into your Unify console, and we're going to want to add a new user. If you're using a cloud key, then you will find this in the apps button in the top right hand corner, then click on users. And if you're using a standalone controller, then it is in settings, system settings, admins. From here, create a new user and you want to make sure that this is a local account rather than a cloud account. Then fill in the username and password and set it to be a limited admin. If you don't want to control anything, you just want stats, then read only will do, but otherwise set administrator privileges. Make sure to hit save and then head over into Home Assistant and into integrations. From here, hit the plus button in the bottom right hand corner and then search for Unify. In the host box, enter the host name or IP address of your controller, try to use host names where possible, and then enter the username and password for the Home Assistant account that we just created. For the port, you will want to enter port 443 for cloud key, or for standalone, you will want to enter 8443. Hit submit, and then you can select the site you want to add, either the default site or another if you have it configured. Hit next, and then you should see all of your devices pull through, and then hit finish. What we have done now is add all of our devices as device trackers so that we may use them for presence detection to see who's home and who is away. But we're going to take this a little bit further by now adding devices that we want to be able to control either the Wi-Fi access or the port status from. So hit the configure button on the Unify integration we just added. And from here, we have a few pages of options to configure. On the first page, you will want to check or uncheck these options as you see fit. Having all of these options ticked can add quite a lot of new entities to your home assistant, depending on how large your network is, but it is useful for tracking devices for presence detection. It's not an issue having lots of new entities added, but it may clutter up your device list if you prefer to keep things clean. On the next page, we have the options we are looking for, which is for access control. From here, select all of the devices from the dropdown that you want to be able to control network access to. You may also want to tick the allow PoE control of clients option. This is really useful, for example, if you have an indoor camera that you want to physically cut the power to if you are at home, so that you know for sure that it's not only is it not connected to the internet, but in fact, it's not even powered on. On the final page, you can then select if you want to have sensors that track bandwidth usage. This could be useful, say for example, if you wanted to disable a device after a certain amount of data had been transmitted. Hit submit, and then if we go into devices and then pick one of the clients from the list that we selected from the dropdown, then you can see that we now have a switch on it. In this example, this is a Wi-Fi device, and so we get a little toggle switch with the network symbol. Toggling this switch will cause the client to be immediately permitted or denied network access. If we then switch over to a wired PoE client, like my back garden camera, you will see that the switch looks a little different, and that's because this is controlling the power over ethernet port on our switch. Network switch, that is, not home assistant switch 
you get the idea. We can then look into the attributes of the switch and see information about our PoE values. And if we toggle it, this will cause the power over ethernet for that particular port on our Unify switch to be disabled, meaning the camera is no longer receiving power and obviously cannot communicate. Let's put this into practice by creating a simple automation. Head over to configuration and automations and create a new automation. And for example, if you wanted to create an automation that turns off network access for a device at 10 p.m. and turns it back on again at 9 a.m., you could do something like this. Create two triggers, one for time at 9 a.m. and one for time at 10 p.m., making sure to set trigger IDs. In the action section, we are then going to select the choose action and then for option one, inside of the condition, select trigger from the dropdown and then select morning curfew as the trigger ID. For the action, you will want to select call service, then choose switch turn on from the next dropdown. As a target, we then select the device that we want to control. Then add another option and repeat the same steps, this time selecting the night curfew as the trigger ID and this time we use the switch turn off service instead. As a side note, doing your automations like this is a really nice way to combine what would be multiple automations into one single one, but it can be a little bit more complicated to get your head around. So if you want to keep things simple, then there is absolutely no problem with creating these as two separate automations. Hit save and now whenever 10 p.m. rolls around, network access will be disabled on the device and automatically re-enabled at 9 a.m. And there we go, that is how to add the Unify integration to Home Assistant for device tracking, but also how to add devices that you can control network access with and even controlling PoE ports on switches. And finally, how to create a simple automation to automatically make that happen. And like I said, there is tons of uses for this that I can think of. We covered a few of them here, but actually let me know in the comments what you plan on using this for or are currently using this for. I bet there are tons more that I haven't even thought of yet. But that is about going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, find it useful. Good to be back doing a Home Assistant tutorial. Feels like it's been a minute since we did a Home Assistant tutorial. But other than that, if you want to support the channel, then you can do so by becoming a patron on Patreon and your support allows me to keep on making these videos. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. As always, your support is very much appreciated. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.